I've been asked a lot lately about how to publish posts from the front end in WordPress. So in this video I want to show you. We will change the status of the post from pending review to publish. And we can achieve this by using a front end form created with JetForm Builder. We'll then place this form inside a listing and display it in a listing grid. After that, all you need to do is click the publish button, which is an action button, and your post will be published. So let's get started. We'll begin by creating a form. So I'm going to navigate to my dashboard. Jet Form Builder, Add New. First, let's name the form. So where it says Add Title, I'm going to type Publish Post. Now, creating this form is quite straightforward. All we need is a hidden field and an action button, which are automatically included every time we create a new form. We also have a text field that is included, but we don't need it. So I'm going to select it and delete it. We won't make any changes to the hidden field because its settings are exactly what we need. However, we will change the button label. So I'm going to select the button. I'm going to go to the block tab, feed label, and I'm going to name it also publish post. Next, I'm going to go to the jet form tab and I'm going to scroll down to preset settings and enable it. The source is going to be post. The get post ID form is going to be current post and the post ID is going to be post ID. Now I'm going to go to the post submit actions and I'm going to change it from send email to insert update post. And I'm going to click the edit action icon. I'm going to select my custom post type, which is luxury cars. And I'm going to set the post status to publish. I'm going to map only the post ID field. So I'm going to select post ID will update this post. And now I'm going to click update. And now we are done with this form. That easy. Next, I'm going to go and click publish twice. And now we can move to the next step, which is creating the listing. So I'm going to go to my dashboard, jet engine listings, add new. The listing store is going to be post. The post type is going to be, in my case, luxury cars. I'm going to name it Padding Review Listing. Listing Review is going to be Elementor. And I'm going to click Create Listing Item. Now let's build our listing. So I'm going to click this Kag icon over here, which is the Listing Item Settings. I'm going to go to the Listing Settings. And I'm going to set a preview width of 250. Next, I want to add a container. So I'm going to click the plus icon, Flexbox, Direction Column. Now I want to start by adding an image widget. So I'm going to go to the Widgets tab and I'm going to click the image widget once to add it. Now I'm going to go to Dynamic Tags and I'm going to select Featured Image. Next I'm going to go to Style, Height, and I'm going to set it to 150. And the Object Fit is going to be Cover. Next I want to add the Post Title. So I'm going to go back to the Widgets tab, I'm going to grab a Heading Widget and drop it just beneath our Featured Image. I'm going to go to Dynamic Tags and I'm going to select Post Title. Next I'm going to go to Alignment and I'm going to align it to the center. Next, I'm going to go to Style, Typography. I'm going to set the pixel size to 16. Now, the image and the title are the only post information that I'm going to use in this example. But you can continue to customize this listing to suit your needs. Now, I want my users to be able to access the actual post. And I cannot make this entire listing clickable because we are about to add buttons. That's why I'm going to link the image and the title to the post instead. So right now, the heading is selected. I'm going to go to Content, Link, Dynamic Tags, and I'm going to select Post URL. And I'm going to do the same with the image. So I'm going to select the image. I'm going to go to Content, Link. I'm going to select Custom URL, Dynamic Tags, and I'm going to select Post URL. Now let's add the form we created in JetForm Builder to this listing. So I'm going to go to the Widgets tab. I'm going to search for JetForm. I'm going to grab it, and I'm going to drop it just underneath our post title. Next, I'm going to go to Choose Form. I'm going to click the drop-down menu, and I'm going to look for my form which is Publish Post, and I'm going to click to select it. Now let's style it a little bit, and we're going to start with the button. So I'm going to go to the Style tab, and then I'm going to go to the Submit tab. I'm going to scroll down a little bit, and in the normal mode, I'm going to change the background color to gray, the text color to white, and I'm going to go Edit Typography. I'm going to go to Transform, and I'm going to set it to Capitalize. Now I'm going to go to the Hover state. The background color is going to be green. The text color is going to be white. Then I'm going to go to Alignment. And I'm going to set it to full width. Then the button tensor alignment is going to be center. And we are done with the styling of the submit button. But now as you can see, we also have a success and failure messages. Although on the live side, when I click the submit button, the message appears for just a split second. But I don't want it to appear at all. So let's make it disappear. So I'm going to scroll down to the messages tab. Make sure that you are in the success state. Unlink the margin. Unlink the padding. I'm going to edit typography size, and I'm going to set it to zero. Next, I'm going to go to the border type, and I'm going to select none. 
And let's do the same for the error message. So again, no margin, no padding, typography, I'm gonna set it to zero, border type, none. And we are left only with the submit button. Now I want to add also a delete button. So I'm gonna to go to the widgets tab and I'm gonna search for dynamic link. I'm gonna grab it and I'm gonna drop it just beneath our publish post button. Next, I'm gonna to go to source and I'm gonna set it to delete current post link. Now I'm gonna to go to label and I'm gonna change it to delete. Next, I'm gonna to go to the field icon and I'm gonna search for trash. Select the one you like and click insert. Next, I'm gonna to go to alignment. And I'm gonna make it full width. Now let's go to the style tab. In the normal set, I'm gonna to go to background type. I'm gonna click classic and I'm gonna select my color, which is light red. Next, I'm gonna to go to text color and I'm gonna select white and the icon color is gonna be also white. Next, I'm gonna unlink the padding and I'm gonna give it eight pixels at the bottom and eight pixels at the top. Now I'm gonna scroll down to the icon gap and give it six. Next, I'm gonna scroll up to the hover state, border type, classic, and I'm gonna set a darker red for the hover. This one is great. So we are done with the delete button. Now let's design the actual container a little bit. So I'm gonna select the container, I'm gonna to go to layout, gap between elements, and I'm gonna give it 10 pixels. Next, I'm gonna to go to the style tab, border, and I'm gonna give it border radius of 10 pixels as well. And I'm gonna enable the box shadow. And we are done with our listing grid. Now I'm gonna click publish. And now let's display it in a listing grid. So I'm gonna to switch to a brand new elemental page. I'm gonna click the plus icon to add the container, flexbox direction column. Before adding the listing grid, I want to add a heading widget that will display the number of posts that are pending review. That would be nice, right? So we need to create a query for that. So let's go to our dashboard. Jet engine, query builder. Add new. And I'm gonna name it pending review query. The query type is gonna be post query. The post type is gonna be luxury cars and the post status is gonna be pending. And that's it. Now we can add this query, go back. I'm gonna go to the widgets tab. I'm gonna grab a heading widget and drop it into the container. I'm gonna align it to the center. I'm gonna go to title. I'm gonna click the dynamic tax drop down, and I'm gonna scroll down to the jet engine section. Here I'm gonna select query results count. Now I'm gonna select my query. If you don't see it, just refresh the page and it will appear. Next, I'm gonna to go to advanced, after, and I'm gonna paste here my text. Perfect. Now I'm gonna to go to the style tab, I'm gonna to go to text color, and I'm gonna change it to white. Now I'm gonna to go to typography, transform, and I'm gonna select capitalize. Next, I'm gonna to go to the advanced tab, padding, and I'm gonna give it 10 pixels. Next, I'm gonna to go to the background, background type, I'm gonna click classic, and I'm gonna select my red color. And we are done with the heading widget. Now let's add the listing grid. So I'm gonna go back to the widgets tab. I'm gonna search for listing and click to drop it into the container. I'm gonna select the pending review listing that we created before. I'm gonna set the column number to four. I'm gonna go to status. I'm gonna remove publish and I'm gonna select pending review. Next, I'm gonna set the post number to eight. Now let's see if it works. So I'm gonna publish and preview. I'm gonna click the image to go to the post. And as you can see, it took us to the post and it works. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna click the delete button. And as you can see, we get the delete pop-up. I'm gonna click cancel. And now let's see if the publish post button works. So I want to publish the Ferrari F8 Spider. So if I'm gonna go back to the, my dashboard a second, I'm gonna go to luxury cars. You're gonna see that the F8 Spider is pending review. Let's go back. I'm gonna click publish post. I'm gonna go back to my dashboard. I'm gonna refresh, and as you can see, the pending is gone, and now it's published. Now for the next issue, I would like to add a couple of more posts for the pending review status. So I'm gonna select a couple, I'm gonna go to the menu, I'm gonna change it from bulk action to edit, apply, I'm gonna go to status, I'm gonna change it to pending review, and click update. Now I'm gonna go back to Elemental, I'm gonna refresh, Now imagine you have a situation where a lot of posts are pending review. The process of going through each one individually and clicking the publish post button can be quite tedious and inefficient. I wish there was like a publish all posts button, 
That would be nice, right? You know what? Let's create one. While you can put this button on this page, I'm worried somebody might click it by accident, causing all the posts to be published without review. So we're gonna put it in a pop-up for an extra layer of protection. So I'm gonna go to the dashboard, templates, pop-ups. Add new, pop-up, I'm gonna name it publish all posts and create template. I'm gonna close this window. I'm gonna go to the pop-up settings, close button, and I'm gonna disable it. Next, I'm gonna go to the style tab, border radius, and I'm gonna give it 50 pixels. Now let's add the container. So I'm gonna click the plus icon, flex box, and I'm gonna select direction row. Now I want to add the text. And because I want to highlight one word, I'm gonna use the text editor widget. So I'm gonna go to the widgets tab, and I'm gonna click the text editor once to add it to the container. Next, I'm gonna change it from paragraph to heading, and I'm gonna paste my text. I'm gonna align it to the center. I'm gonna highlight the word all, and I'm gonna change the color. I'm gonna select like a reddish color. This one is good. And I'm gonna underline it. Next, I'm gonna go to the style tab. Then I'm gonna go edit typography. I'm gonna go to weight, and I'm gonna select 700 bold. Next, I'm gonna go to transform, and I'm gonna select capitalized. Now I want to add two buttons to this container. One will say yes, and it will trigger the code to make all posts published. The other button will say no, and it will close up the pop-up. So I'm gonna go to the widgets tab, and I'm gonna find the button widget, and I'm gonna click once to add it. Now I want the button to be positioned under the text editor widget, but because I've selected container with direction row, it's currently placed right next to it. So to fix it, make sure that the text editor is full width, then I'm gonna select the container, layout, wrap, and enable wrap. Then I'm gonna go to align content, and I'm gonna select center, and I'm gonna go to justify content and select center as well. Next, I'm gonna select the button, I'm gonna go to content, text, and I'm gonna type here yes. Then I'm gonna go to size and I'm gonna select large. Now I'm gonna go to the style tab, background type, classic, and I'm gonna select my color, which is light green. Then I'm gonna duplicate this button. I'm gonna change the text to no. I'm gonna go to the style tab and I'm gonna change the color to red. And now I want to configure this button to close the pop-up. So to do that, I'm gonna go to content, link, I'm gonna click on the dynamic tags, I'm gonna scroll down to actions, I'm gonna select pop-up, I'm gonna click on the red icon, and here I'm gonna change the action from open pop-up to close pop-up. And now it will close up the pop-up. Now let's add to the yes button the publish all post action. And we're gonna do that by using a code. So let's begin. So I'm gonna go to my code page, I'm gonna scroll down to where it says publish all posts, and here we have all the code we're gonna need. So I'm gonna start by copying the button CSS class. So I'm gonna highlight, Control C to copy. I'm gonna go back to our pop-up. I'm gonna select the yes button. I'm gonna go to advanced CSS class, and I'm gonna paste it here. Next, we need to add an HTML widget. So I'm gonna go to the widgets tab, and I'm gonna click once on the HTML widget to add it to the container. Now I'm gonna go back to our code page, and this time I'm gonna copy the CSS class for the HTML widget. So I'm gonna highlight, Control C to copy. I'm gonna go back, advanced CSS class, and I'm gonna paste it here. Now let's go get the HTML code. So I'm gonna go back to my code page, I'm gonna go to the HTML code button, and I'm gonna click to copy code. Now I'm gonna go back to my pop-up, content, and I'm gonna paste here the code. Now let's go get the last piece of code, which is the PHP code. So again, I'm gonna click the button to copy code. Now I'm gonna go to my dashboard, and I'm using code snippets for my PHP codes. So I'm gonna go to Snippets, Add New. I'm gonna go to Title, and I'm gonna name it Publish All Posts. Then I'm gonna go to the Functions PHP tab, and I'm gonna paste here the code. Now we need to specify which custom post type this code should target. To do that, we're gonna use the custom post type slug. So to find out what the slug is, I'm gonna go to Jet Engine, Post Types. I'm gonna select my custom post type Luxury Cars. And here you can see Post Type Slug. So I'm gonna copy, Control C to copy. I'm gonna go back to my code. I'm gonna go to line number six, and where it says your post type, I'm gonna replace it with my slug. And that's it. Now I'm gonna scroll down, save changes, and activate. Now I'm gonna go back to Elementor and add a button that will trigger the pop-up that we created. So let me just go back to the pop-up and click Publish, Save and Close. Now let's go back, and I'm gonna go to the Widgets tab, and I'm gonna drop a button. 
Next, I'm gonna go to text and I'm gonna name it publish all posts. Now let's connect it to the actual pop-up. So I'm gonna click dynamic tags. I'm gonna go to actions, pop-up. I'm gonna click the wrench icon, open pop-up, and I'm gonna search for my pop-up, which is also publish all posts. I'm gonna find it and I'm gonna select it. Now let's see if it works. So I'm gonna click publish and preview. I'm gonna click the button, the pop-ups appear. I'm gonna click no to close it. I'm gonna click it again. Are you sure you want to publish all posts? Yes, I'm sure. I'm gonna click it. And as you can see, all the posts that are pending review are now published. Very nice. Now, as you can see, we still have here the publish all posts button, although we don't have any posts. So let's make it disappear. So I'm gonna go back to Elementor. I'm gonna select the button. I'm gonna go to advanced. I'm gonna scroll down to dynamic visibility and I'm gonna enable it. Show element if condition is met. Which element? Query has items. Which query? Pending review query. And now I'm gonna publish and preview. And now as you can see, because we don't have any posts that are pending review, the button is gone. So we've created a page with the ability to perform critical actions like publishing and deleting posts. That way we need to limit access to this page. So my recommendation is to change the visibility of each page. Let me show you. So I'm gonna go back to Elementor. I'm gonna click the Elementor icon over here and then I'm gonna exit to WordPress. I'm gonna go to the page tab, Visibility, and I'm gonna click on Public. And here we have the option to make it private for admin and editors. You can also create a new user role and add it to this list. The next option is if you want to grant access to someone who doesn't have a user role, you can lock this page with the password. So I'm an admin, so I'm gonna select private and then I'm gonna click OK. Another thing I will do is prevent Google from indexing this page. So I'm using Rank Math, but you can also do it with Yoast. So I'm gonna click the Rank Math settings. I'm gonna go to advanced and I'm gonna select no index. And then I'm gonna click update. And that's it. So in this video, I showed you how to publish and delete posts from the front end. So that's it for this one. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'm gonna see you in the next one. Peace.